Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Advanced Star and Dental Products Report, and I'm on a Google Hangout this morning with Amy Governor, who's a fourth-year dental student at West Virginia University. How are you, Amy? Good. How are you doing? Doing well, thanks. I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us this morning. Absolutely. Well, let's talk first of all uh, about you winning the Jeff Baumrucker Memorial Scholarship from Climb for a Cause and Smile Tree, and just kind of talk about that and what that's done to help you with your studies. So it was actually pretty random. I decided to join Twitter a few months ago just to see what all the hype was about, and I saw a post from another dental associate that had posted, I guess retweeted, if you will, um, the Climb for the Calls post, and it was about the scholarship. So I applied, <laughs> and I guess they really liked me and thought I could offer something good down there. But um, it's open to third and fourth year dental students. And um, I think they asked for a couple letters of recommendation and a GPA, but um, I think they want to see that you're going to fit in well, kind of getting thrown into any situation and not knowing anybody down there because I'm literally not going to know a single soul while I'm there. So it's going to be awesome, but it's about um, 10 days total travel time to Guatemala here and back. Um, we'll spend a few days in Antigua, but I think it's five, six days at the clinic. So just talk about your thoughts of, like you said, you're not really going to know anybody. It's a brand new environment. So as a dental student, what apprehensions do you have? What uh, hopes do you have for that? I mean, apprehensions, I get thrown into these situations a lot. For some reason, I like to do that to myself. Um, so I just, more than anything, I guess, you always hear the bad sides about traveling overseas. So that's my only worry, drinking the water. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I mean, I'm just pretty excited. I actually put it out my packing list last night, started packing stuff up so I know I'm ready to go. And I don't know, I think it'll be great. I'm going to meet hopefully a ton of new dentists, get a little bit of networking from, you know, over the U.S. because I do have graduation coming up. So I need to figure out what I'm doing. So connections never hurt. <laughs> Well, well, let's talk a little bit about your graduation, kind of your mindset moving forward. What what are the parts of dentistry that first appealed to you and caused you to really move into this field? Oh, goodness. So I'm one of those weird kids that from the get-go I wanted to be a dentist, and I don't have a great reason why. I just, I liked it. It was nice and calm and relaxing, and I just felt like that was an environment that I wanted to work in. Um, I got into school and I got into the medical field and I just felt like it's hands-on option as opposed to going into medicine specifically. So I get to use my hands but I also get to use my brain a little so it's kind of a nice blend and it keeps me happy and like I said just that relaxing environment. I mean most dental offices you just go into and it's just that little soft piano music that just mellows you out for the day. So what uh, what are your plans moving forward? What uh, Are you going to be a specialist, a GP? What are you looking toward? So plan is to graduate. <laughs> yep. um, no, I don't think I want to specialize. Originally, I always said I wanted to be an orthodontist, and I got into dental school and realized that I kind of just like general dentistry. You get to do a little bit of all of it, and I don't, I'm ready to go practice. I'm ready to get out there into the real world and see what's going on. So I don't think I'm going to do any residencies. I think I'm going to look for an associateship, find a good mentor, and go from there. What parts of actually getting into the, the real world of dentistry uh, are, are you apprehensive about, or are there any? Okay, so as a dental student, I think most schools do this. I see a patient in the morning and a patient in the afternoon. So just, I guess, increasing productivity to get to that working speed is the thing that I'm most apprehensive about. I've heard that it builds up quickly, but it's just kind of one of those things where you're so used to having someone check over your shoulder the whole time, and I've heard graduates say, you get there, and you, you finish your prep, and you go, did anybody go look at this? <laughs> and so I'm kind of just waiting for the moment where I just get to work on my own and trust my own judgment. And I mean, there's definitely moments, and it's a learning curve, so I definitely have a lot to learn. That's why I want a great mentor, a lot of CE courses, but I think I'm just excited to see the real world for a minute. And last question for you. I know, uh, you know we always hear about today's dental students and how concerned they are about the debt and, and everything of going to dental school. Is that something that ever weighs on your mind or are you just excited about getting out into the real world and getting going? Every day. <laughs> Every single day. Um, I am always conscious with my money. I do not like to be in debt. I have always been super cautious. Got a credit card right out of school just to build my credit score. I mean, I'm, I'm so aware of it. It's, it's a little bit 
I don't know, off-putting, I guess. Um, it definitely weighs in the decision as far as, you know, career. Um, it, it's, it's one of those things where, can I give back to my community, but I need to make back my own money, too. And so it, it's definitely given me the perspective where you think, oh my gosh, their prices are insane, but you forget how much money that I don't really have. <laughs> I am in debt for a couple houses right now. So it's just kind of crazy that it's so expensive. And yeah, it's something that weighs on my mind every single day. So that's, that's definitely one of the driving forces in my decisions as to what to do next with my career. It's, it's mostly get my loans paid off as fast as possible. Well, Amy, again, congratulations on winning the scholarship, and for sounds like there'll be a great time in Guatemala, and uh, we certainly wish you the best of luck in your career. Absolutely, thank you. I I am excited, and I can't wait to see, and I'm sure it's going to help. I don't know, just further my my outreach and my goals, and I can't wait. You know, interviewing process it just makes it that much better to have another perspective to give. And make sure you always read Dental Products Report, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, thanks, Amy. Take care. Thank you.